Uh, I'm joined by my colleague James Cole, who has been following the story very closely for us today. Uh, James, as I said there, the fallout continues. This is developing all the time. How, how big a blow is this, do you think, for Elliot at this stage in his racing career? Yeah, this is a very big blow for Elliot. Yesterday, uh, Jigginstown House Stud, another of the biggest breeders, stood by him, one of his biggest backers. But today, Cheveley Park have not. Uh, they are one of the most successful breeding and ownership operations in racing and they've removed all eight horses uh, from his training. The biggest of those horses, the biggest name is Envoy Alain, uh, Alain I should say, uh, one of the biggest prospects in jump racing, unbeaten in his career so far, a back-to-back -back Cheltenham Festival winner and to make matters worse those eight horses are being moved to two of Elliot's biggest rivals, Henry de Bromhead and Willie Mullins. De Bromhead getting Envoy uh, Alain. So Cheveley Park not standing by Elliot today uh, and a part of that reason is because the Cheltenham Festival is two weeks away, away and while Elliot is under investigation by the Irish Horse Racing Regulatory Board he cannot have runners in British races. So they're going to meet on Friday to review that evidence. Uh, in the meantime this allows those horses to compete at Cheltenham Festival and speaking to Sky Sports Racing earlier Cheveley Park Director Richard Thompson explained that this was a big decision, but he wouldn't commit as to whether this was a long-term or a short-term decision. For the time being, we're we, we're moving the horses, and obviously that's 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 it. I mean, Gordon, it's a you know terrible time for him, but obviously he's made a terrible um, error of judgment, which he admits. I explained to him we had to do the right thing by Chimney Park and by by our standing in the industry and what people expect of us. So um, in the short to medium term, we're certainly um, you know, these, these horses will stay with uh, Henry and uh, and Willie and. Um, I don't know what the implications are longer term. I'm not close enough to the centre of the of, of the politics of horse racing and how it works between Britain and Ireland and how these relationships work. But all I know is that with my Cheveley Park stud hat on, um, we had to take a decision as a board of directors to uh, to disassociate ourselves with Gordon at this at this start this time and um, and do the right thing by the stud and by the industry. So it appears, James, that everybody is deserting Gordon Elliott at this time. And uh, just when you think it couldn't get any worse for the sport of racing. Now, James, uh, another video has emerged today, hasn't it? Yeah, another damaging video for racing. Uh, it was emerged on social media. Uh, it involves Irish amateur jockey Rob James climbing on the back of a dead horse. Um, in the background of the video, uh, you can hear people laughing. Uh, and it shows him mounting the horse at a gallop. It's terrible, terrible uh, story this for the sport. Terrible timing as well, just two weeks until Cheltenham Festival. And he has come out, uh, James, and he has issued this statement today. He said, I would just like to apologise for my actions, which were wholly inappropriate and disrespectful to a lovely five-year-old mare who unfortunately suffered a sudden cardiac arrest while at exercise earlier that morning back on April the 30th, 2016. I sincerely apologise to the owners of the mare, the staff who cared for her, the horse racing industry and all followers of horse racing for my actions. To try to defend my stupidity at the time would add further insult and hurt to the many loyal people that have supported me during my career. I've caused embarrassment to my employers, my family and most importantly, the sport I love. I'm heartbroken by the damage I've caused and I will do my best to try and make amends to those hurt by my conduct. The Irish Horse Racing Regulatory Board are also now investigating James. As I say, awful timing for the sport just two weeks away from Cheltenham Festival.